Oh, right. I'll, uh, I'll start with a newspaper article I found a couple of years ago. Right, it was like local run for paper. Right, and I found that the world's quite confusing. Right, there's a lot of confusing stuff, and this newspaper article raised more questions than it answers. Right, the headline: Alex in poo drama. Right. <laughs> A student is fuming after his clothes were covered in poo when he unwittingly dashed into a smeared and vandalised cubicle in the Liberty Rock Shopping Centre, Romford. <laughs> Unlucky Alex ended up walking through Romford for 20 minutes on a Christmas shopping spree before realising his jacket and jeans were caked in the brown stuff. <laughs> it gets better, it gets better. He is now angry that bosses at the Liberty will not pay him compensation for his spoiled clothes. Alex, who is studying at the Stratford Campus at the University of East London, said it's totally ruined my clothes. I want my clothes back, and new ones at that. <laughs> Why would you want back shitty clothes? I don't know. <laughs> I can't wear them again, not after what happened. When I got home, I was feeling physically sick. Like he wasn't feeling sick at the time, you know what I mean? <laughs> the incident happened when Alex dashed into the toilet to grab some tissue paper for a runny nose. Now what I'm thinking is, He's gone in, seen that the place is covered in shit. <laughs> Why not you just go into another cubicle, you know what I mean? You wouldn't be like, all right, let, let's fucking rub up against the fucking walls here. <laughs> you just wouldn't do it. <laughs> he then continued with his shopping, and it wasn't until 20 minutes later that he sat down on a bench and noticed the bad smell and bad and brown stuff on his jeans and jacket. <laughs> there's more, there's more. He said, oh, I just bought some chocolates. <laughs> and thought it was leaking out of the bag. <laughs> but then I smelled it. <laughs> and it was all over me. <laughs> After going back to the toilet, he complained to the janitor, who lent him a spare uniform to go home in. <laughs> the centre kept his ruined clothes. He said, Alex, I had to wear their work uniform, which I still have. It was nice of the janitor to help me out. Even the security guard grimaced when he saw the state of me. <laughs> he added, whoever used the toilet before must have spread feces all over the floor and walls. I only popped into the toilet to get some tissue. I was there for seconds. It's disgusting. <laughs> A Liberty Centre spokesman was unavailable for comment on the matter. <laughs> I mean, he was too busy fucking laughing, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, I don't know. London's a fucking weird place, isn't it, right? No matter how miserable you try and be in London, there's always something that'll give you a lift. You know, escalators. <laughs> occasional blowjob from a tramp. <laughs> See, uh, hang, hang on, sorry, sorry, my phone's going, my phone's going, yeah, hang on. Uh, I'm a pocket, is it? Hang on, hang on. Sorry, bear with me, bear with me, it might be important. Um, shit, shit, hang on. Hello, Nan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm at a comedy show, man. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I got it for you, the one you asked for, yeah. Yeah, the rabbit, yeah. Um, and the batteries. Yeah, I've tested them. No, no, in my stereo. No, 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 how would my stereo fit up my... No. Well, no, I left it in the box, didn't I? Well, it just wouldn't be appropriate, would it? Well, you're not stirring the fucking tea with it, are you, Nan? Come on! <laughs> At least I hope you're not. <laughs> Look, Nan, you don't need to tell me that. All oh, that. Oh. Wrong colour. You know what? Go fuck yourself! <laughs> Jesus Christ, some people. There's no please them, is there? <laughs> oh, dear. I'll tell you what, I was, with, I was with a girl last night, right? She was a proper double bagger. Yeah. <laughs> I had both testicles in her mouth. <laughs> with a girl the other day, right, right, gorgeous looking girl, right, but she was saying, oh, but folks, folks think I'm really pretty, but when I open my mouth, they just don't like my voice. So shut up. <laughs> so, my dad um, didn't take my coming out very well. I think I used a bit, should use a bit more lube, really. <laughs> I don't know, I was... I was, out, I was out the other day in town with my bow and arrow, right? I thought I'd create a beautiful scene, you know, lovers all around. But then as they were uh, writhing on the floor in agony, blood pumping everywhere, <laughs> I thought something's wrong here. And then when I looked at them all lying there, cold and lifeless, I thought, oh shit, I'm not Cupid, am I? 
it's quite a song. Walked into a sperm bank the other day, right? With my missus and uh, said, have you got any of that Johnny Depp sperm? He said, uh, you uh, registered on an IVF programme? I said, no, we just want to know what it tastes like. <laughs> yeah. I had to, uh, me and my girlfriend had to change our safe word the other day, you know, the word to stop when things are getting a bit too, too heavy, because our safe word used to be arsehole, right? Now that leads to some cute confusing situations, I can tell you, right? Where do you want the pineapple, love? Arsehole, arsehole! <laughs> Three fucking hours in a &E. it's no joke. <laughs> But like she was raised, she was raised as a Catholic, right? So she always thought sex was dirty. So I so she'd have to sterilise me first. You know, we're just about to get down to business. She started pouring bleach all over me. Cock. <laughs> started shouting, arsehole, arsehole! And then I realised we should have changed our safe word to ambulance. <laughs> um. I don't know, it's, 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 it's weird no, in it, relationships, it right? Because all, all, everything men do, right? We do it to impress women, right? But we filter it through what we want as men, right? So you end up like with, if you have a week, when I said to my missus, Oh, hey, I bought you a robot. Oh, great. Um, will it hug me when I'm sad? Hug what, 3,000? Of course it will. Um, hang on, I've just got to get my screwdriver and take the chainsaws off the arms. Hang on, hang on a minute. <laughs> hug what, activate! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, went to the shed. I've got a shovel instead of the screwdriver, so we're not together anymore. <laughs> uh, <laughs> silver linings, silver linings. I'm taking the invention onto uh, Dragon's Den next week. And I'm looking forward to seeing seeing, uh, to seeing Duncan Bannatyne's face. He goes, well, unfortunately, your robot has changed us for arms. For that reason, I'm out. <laughs> Hogbot activate! <laughs> beautiful, beautiful moment. Relationships would be a lot easier, wouldn't they? If they were more like an Xbox game. You know what I mean? You'd have achievements, wouldn't you? Like, you know, like Call of Duty, wouldn't you? So you're like, you've achieved first kiss. Aww. Six million other people have achieved this achievement. It's hard. Fucking hell, I'm asking out that game. Jesus Christ. Well, my problem is, I never seem to be able to hold on to women. If I think I might be using too much lead there. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, no. Cut the pieces of advice, piece of advice my dad, dad gave me. He said, Tom, always use protection. I find my so lack of social skills has worked perfectly so far. <laughs> Another bloke, he said to me, Tom, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. I've already lost count the amount of people I give them play jobs. <laughs> And words are confusing as well, right? Words are confusing. Right? I found out the word ejaculate isn't as dirty as you might think, right? Because it means to utter suddenly. <laughs> so, you, you, you know, you could be reading like a fucking Charles Dickens novel and just see, oh no, he ejaculated, right? Not as dirty as you think. And I was telling my mate about this, right? And we were walking down the road. I don't think he quite understood. Because we're walking down the road, these two gorgeous girls start walking up to us. And he's turned around to me, and it was the biggest monkey penis in my life! He ejaculated. <laughs> Had a mess to clean up. <laughs> I got invited to a Jamie's Witnesses barbecue the other way. <laughs> I knocked on the door and the cunts didn't let me in. <laughs> <laughs> and I think, I think I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm just bitter, right? Because my TV career ain't taken off yet, right? So they wouldn't let me on Mastermind. Right, they said they didn't like my specialist subjects. Questions that require the answer, yes. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I wrote, wrote, wrote my girlfriend a poem once, right? I thought I'd try and be sensitive, right? Win the missus back. But I thought I'd try and show them, try and show them sensitive, so I wrote a poem about safe sex, right? Before you slip into someone more comfortable, think about safe sex before you whip off your kicks. Stick a jiffy on your stiffy, or perhaps you prefer Durex. But remember, in Australia, Durex is a leading brand of sellotape. <laughs> well, uh, so I found a decent website the other day, it's called Lifehacker, right? And it tells you how to manage your work-life balance, right? One of the ways it suggests you do this is by having a shit, 
while you're at work, right? <laughs> true, true story. But what I don't tell you is don't do it on your manager's desk <laughs> during your performance review. It's, it's no good, no good. So speaking, speaking of jobs, right? Have any of you ever worked in retail? Right? Yeah, so you know what the first rule of retail is, yeah? Don't talk about retail. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, the actual first rule of retail is the customer is always a right, a right cunt. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, a couple of years ago, on my 21st birthday, I went out in Glasgow, right? Got absolutely shit-faced with my mates. They carried me to one last pub. I stumbled my way down the stairs to where the gents were and I've got to sit down and I put my hand out to stop the wall spinning, right? And my hand's gone through. I pull me out, man, there's a hole there. What's going on here, right? They don't teach you how to deal with this at school. You know what I mean? And I went to a Catholic school, so you thought they would, but you never know, you know. <laughs> and I'm sitting there trying to make sense of this and then a cock pops through the wall. <laughs> what the fuck is this all about? And then all of a sudden I just say, go and fucking get started, or what you saying? So I took my shoe off and hit it. <laughs> but it stayed there, proud, defiant, like William Wallace. Oh fucking hell, he's going to tell me to vote for independence next. So I kept hitting it and hitting it. And then it withdrew, like Mel Gibson's career. <laughs> and a £20 note slid <laughs> under the door. I ended up working there for about six months. <laughs> <laughs> what else have I got to tell you about? What else have I got to tell you about? Oh, yeah. A couple more things. I'll tell you a story about a uh, first girl I ever fell in love with. My right, first girl I ever fell in love with. A girl called Sarah, a lovely girl. I went round her house one day, right? A bunch of flowers, box of chocolates. Thought I'd be really sweet. She opened the door to me, half empty bottle of whiskey in her hand. I went, fucking cut me out. <laughs> Flowers and the chocolates went on the floor. She dropped my knees, dropped my pants, <laughs> and my trousers. Dropped my trousers and then my pants. Even. <laughs> As I say, a bit, a bit hazy, this, this memory, you know. The details. She just started sucking me cock. I thought, well, there's a fucking welcome, you know what I mean? You don't, don't get that every day, do you? Should do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> fucking wish, yeah. And she, and she kept going, oh, listen, I started feeling a bit weird. I started feeling a bit dizzy. Then suddenly, <laughs> she's puked all over my cock. <laughs> and I looked down and I thought, fuck, this is going to be an awkward walk of shame. And as I look down at this puddle of puke, I'm sure I noticed some cum in there. Which was weird, because I was wearing Durex at the time. Oh. <laughs> Must have been Australian. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, I'll leave you with one last thing, but about words being confusing, right? I go on the internet quite a lot, and the internet has changed the way we think about various things. Right? And it's changed the meaning of words in a lot of ways. So it's called Words Ruined by the Internet. Tea bag. <laughs> Squirting. <laughs> Shaved. Gape. <laughs> Tell us a nice sick audience, love it. Water sports. <laughs> Mature. Facial. <laughs> <laughs> Someone recently had one. <laughs> <laughs> Scat. <laughs> so see, I thought that one was shit, but there we go. <laughs> Hardcore. Milking. On a related note, creamy. Gag. Anal. Mother. <laughs> Reality. Tug jobs. <laughs> anyway, sorry, so shit, that's my shopping list. <laughs> Along with cocaine, hookers, and dignity. <laughs> Cheers, I've been Tom Mullen, thank you very much. Hey! Hey!